Hey, what's up everyone? This is Freddy Bonfire back with an amazing tutorial. And this time I just wanted to mention one more time that I have this beautiful pack of 26 unique materials on my Patreon. So if you want to become a Patreon, you will get a 100% discount code for my Gumroad. And just look at these beautiful materials. So 26 unique materials. I gave them some stupid names like I think this is Keanu because it reminds me of Matrix. And this one could be Olympic or something like that. This one, I think this should be something like Firefighter all kinds of stupid names. I think this is Mario Kart, by the way. A lot of beautiful materials and if you want to play with ropes and the new simulation tools in, uh, for example, Cinema 4D 2023.1, then this could be something beautiful to play with, all right? I think I released them already in the beginning of this year on my Patreon, but I thought since Cinema 4D just invented some time to give us better simulation tools, it could be fun to play with it, all right? So yeah, if you want to play with ropes, then you could get these materials on my Patreon. You can also buy them directly on my Gumroad, marcusgonza.gumroad.com for 12 euros. But as I said, when you become a member in the Knights tier on my Patreon, then you will get this one for free. Anyway, let's just quickly switch to Cinema 4D and you can see this is my simulation. I mean, it's a little bit jittering here. And honestly, I just simulated this to get something like a sculpture here and then I more or less try to freeze it because I just wanted to have something beautiful where I can move my camera around and change the lighting and the materials. And for example, just make another camera and go in for a close up something like this all right and then i search for a beautiful frame in the animation do something like this and then i make a still image out of it and i mean it's so simple but already you have some beautiful frame to render okay so you could render this one out and then you could just change the camera a little bit and then you could have something beautiful like this one okay so it's pretty simple but i can also show you how i built the sculpture okay so i guess some of you already know how to do this but let's just build this one from scratch let's just have some fun here and i want to build a little sculpture here which will be our collider and then we just put some ropes on it okay so this time i want to go with a cube for example and um, maybe a capsule and a tube and a sphere and a platonic <laughs> all right and an oil tank okay so i will select all of them and go to the tools let's just see the dynamic place and now i just rotate this a little bit and we will have something like this one so this could be our collider sculpture and of course you can choose some other elements or you could just duplicate this one and select all of them and rotate it one more time and just wiggle it a little bit and there you will have your sculpture of course you can give this more subdivisions so it will look more beautiful but in my case i just want to give you an example so right now i'm not sure if you can just put it into a null and then just go to the simulation text and hopefully this will work when i just put the collider onto this one and let's just test this one with a plane let's make the plane bigger something like this and b to see the subdivisions i just give this one 20 by 20 and let's put a cloth on it i just want to see if the collider system is working when you put it onto the null object and no it's not working okay so let's just go brute force here and copy it on all of the children See if it is working now. Okay, this is better. And that was my first mistake. I think you could select all of it and put it, I guess, into a connect object. All right, let's just test this one more time. So I'm learning while I'm doing this. <laughs> okay, let's see this one more time. All right, so you can do it like this. All right, so now I want to put some ropes onto this one to get a beautiful sculpture. So you could create a rectangle and press C and go here into the close spline checkbox and kill these points and press US a couple of times to get something like this with a lot of subdivisions then T to make this one bigger so now you would have your base spline but there is a more clever way if you go to the content browser you could search for a segment spline and there you go so now you have a segment or just one spline and you could make this one a bit longer 800 or 1500 something like this and give it a point count of maybe 100 so I like to keep this number big so we get some beautiful deformations in the rope and now if you want to go to the rope tag then this should work yes 
Okay, so this is not so impressive. And I think I just want to make this a bit more interesting. So I showed you how you can do it with a segment, but of course you could also just select a circle spline, rotate this one 90. All right, so I want to have this one connected because I think it will give us a more beautiful pattern. And then I turned this one into an ellipse, make it a bit more narrow here, something like that. I just make it a bit longer here, maybe 800, maybe 150, give it again, something like 100 but you have to decide this for your own and now you could put this one into a cloner okay you don't want to have it in a grid but in the linear mode just put it over your sculpture and i don't like the orientation here so let's just see i think when you select it like this no that's also the wrong button it's always the last button that's uh, that always happens to me all right, so we have three clones. I just put this one to 10, for example. And now you could give me something like 30. Of course, you could put this way higher, but for now, I think this is okay. And if you want to simulate it like this, then you have to put the rope tag onto the cloner. All right, and hopefully this will work. All right, so this is a super boring animation. Okay, so it's sliding here. All right, so you could make your sculpture a bit bigger or you could make this ellipse a bit more narrow, something like this. Let's see this one more time. It's not the most strong animation so far, but I want to just show you some principles here. You can put the friction higher because I don't want this to be sliding all over the place here. And I think you could also put the friction here higher, put it to 30, for example. Let's just see. So now this is really sticky here. So now there is a lot of friction here. So I just put this one to five and maybe five here. Let's double check this. All right, still really sticky or a lot of friction. Let's put this one to one. Let's put this one to 0.1, for example. I just want to see how this is behaving. Okay, that's a bit more interesting. But of course, this is still a bit boring. So we could go here and maybe, no, that's the wrong parameter. I think I have to go here and just rotate this like five. All right, so this looks like a spirograph or something <laughs> that I played with in my childhood. Let's try this one more time. And already this is a bit more interesting. Okay, but you just have to play with the parameters and then you will get something interesting. Of course, you could just go to the forces here, just put it into my window here and put the turbulence into the scene, put this one to 100 and maybe 30 and just play with the values there. So now you will get some additional turbulence. Okay, this is interesting. You could also put a rotation into the scene. This will always rotate along the Z axis. So I think it's a good idea to move this one up something like 90 and let's just see so now there should be a lot of rotation all right so this is messing it up completely but the byproduct is that you get some really nice curves here all right so this could be interesting of course now you just have to play with the settings and this is exactly what i did for this sculpture here and yeah just put a beautiful material on it and then you have something that you can post on your instagram and become famous in like one week or so i think Okay, so anyway, thank you so much for your time. Support me on my Patreon. I have over 100 tutorials there and uh, you will just have an amazing time like my other Patreons. This is me on my Gumroad and this is me on Instagram. It would be amazing if you support me on YouTube, follow my channel, click the subscribe button, um, whatever buttons you have to press and uh, just have an amazing day. Thank you so much for your time. See you next time. Bye guys. Sorry, I forgot to mention one thing. So right now I built the setup just to create some beautiful still frames i didn't render it as animation but i think there could be still some issues with jittering in the animation so the simulation tools for ropes are i guess not perfectly stable all the time so just when you play with a lot of ropes then there could be some glitching some jittering and maybe even some texture flipping because sometimes the rope doesn't know if it is orientating into this direction or into this direction and then sometimes from one frame to the other the texture could just jump and orientate itself into a new direction and of course that would not be so beautiful in animation so i still have to test this and i'm sure maxon will improve this soon hopefully but uh, yeah so far this works perfectly if you want to make some beautiful still frames but you have to be careful in animation when you use a lot of ropes there could be some glitches okay so just be sure about that fact but otherwise when you work with just a couple of ropes i think it should be perfectly stable anyway thank you so much one more time See you next time. Bye, everyone.